It's the bit Hi everyone, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, so we'll never know what the secret is. No, we do not know what the secret is. The secret is safe. Uh -huh. All right, so we're back. Uh, the symbiote is has attached itself to you rather uh, aggressively. It's like a parasite. Um, it's a thing. And we are at. So, I have gone, I have done my action, which has dropped you down to a very lethal level. Yep. Um, oh no. It is now you, the player's turn, to either figure out how to stop this parasite from entering into the poor chief of security's brain and thus taking it over, or, you know... Space them. Yeah, just face them. Can I ask you a question? Because we killed the boss, can we like see what the objective is, or the, the objective? The objective is just that she was who you were going after. Oh, oh, yes. okay. So it we can remove that. Yeah, yeah. it's, sorry, it's a, it was just a reminder for uh, not only for myself to remember which token it was, mm. but also for uh, the viewers because you could read the objective itself there. And you guys didn't necessarily know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, oh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus. what's up? Cheese and crackers. Cheese and just, crackers. I guess I'm just going to slash wildly at this thing as it's trying to take me over. But isn't it inside you now? Not it's yet, but it's oh. getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Can my symbiont interact with his? Well, you guys are running over. Uh, right you now. can attempt to do that. Um, it's going to be rather tough, though, to be quite honest. All right, I'm going to give up a threat <laughs> to boost my slash here. All right. <laughs> Stab yourself in the eye. Oh, God. Okay, uh, so far, three, four successes. Oh, you hit it. Okay, sweet. And I guess I get. Uh, I went for the complication of stabbing myself in the face. <laughs> uh, is it DC two or three for hitting this thing? Uh, it's in combat. It's always so you're hitting it with. You're not like you're not shooting at it, are you? No, I'm just like it's, slashing it's, it. It's one. One. Okay. Yeah. So then I gain three momentum off that. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be important because I might have to spend that. Which I'm going to do immediately. <laughs> All of it? No, just one. Okay. Sweet. Okay, there Let's we go. go. So that's uh, six, seven, eight, nine. It dies. Yay! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Great, was there a smaller one hiding inside that? That's <laughs> kind of so, the, so. Oh, let me read this. All right, so uh, the parasite falls to the ground and its tendrils revert back to uh, itself. Jim comes running into that room. Mm -hmm. Just Jim? Or? Just Jim. Someone shoot him when he gets in there. <laughs> Not a parasite. Nope. Uh, heavily breathing, he's like, <sighs> amazing. So, according to my readings, this is the same parasite that took over several of, uh, that tried to att attempt to infiltrate Starfleet Command on Stardate 41755. Oh, that creepy ass episode that gave me nightmares for like. <laughs> that they never went with. Following that. I like am looking at you, Paramount. This is your fault. You started a plot line and then you <laughs> dropped it immediately. Yep. You know what else you dropped with that? The ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why CBS is taking over. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> someone else completely. He won't get this. All right. So, in this particular case, 
Uh, you guys still have to finish repairing the ship, uh, but that does not take very long. The Captain Cortez sends uh, engineers over, etc., etc., and asks that all of you report back to duty aboard the Magellan. You are about to be debriefed. Okay. Oh, this is worse than John Hurt seen in Alien. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we just have to go back. Yeah. We're done. Yeah, we're done. We have cleared the dungeon. To the Magellan. <laughs> so Jim actually comes with you guys as well. Oh, sweet. He will be our ship slave. That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, um, looking at this token, I think you may want to reconsider the nature of that joke. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> what? I, I mean, <laughs> assistant. Um, so, yeah. once uh, you have safely uh, been back over to the ship, Captain Cortez calls you to uh, her ready room and begins uh, begins speaking. For a deep huh? <laughs> Bucket of cold water. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think the officers are all going to lose their briefs in this debriefing. <laughs> you were safe. You were safe. <laughs> now that I'm distracted, like... <laughs> Find my center. Calm right. motion. Calm motion. So, uh, you... So the captain asks you what happened, and you uh, tell their story back to them of what has happened. Jim describes the entire scenario of the uh, Alcaberry. After receiving, uh, well, after giving everything, the captain uh, then receives, uh, well, doesn't receive, but she has been given orders to report to Federation Starbase 117. Uh, and Starfleet Command will be eager to debrief Ensign LaSalle after he receives full medical and psychological evaluation. Obviously, LaSalle is very, you know, he's agreeable to this because, let's face it, he was traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was pretty traumatized. Uh, so you guys set, uh, so the ship has actually now left, and there's, you have a few less engineers, there's a couple less uh, con officers to do the thing, and there is a couple less security uh, guards as well. So what we, happened? And, and, and we're down a few medical officers uh. too. Yes. You're or at least one anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're like to be the emergency hologram. We just left her in the tube there. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with her tricorder. Yeah. The, that's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so upon reaching Starbase 117, uh, you have been given new orders. There is an incident at on the Klingon armored space station, Kortar. Kortar. That's a word. Kortar! Quartar. Yeah, last session, um, that station was mentioned, right? Where the signal um, came from. Yeah, some sort of signal. The uh, which Starfleet Command believes is related to where those neural parasites appear. Dun, dun. Well, huh. if we go over there, we're all going to keep our spacesuits on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? And like yeah, maybe maybe stop you know slashing guys at close range. Fully sealed environmental suits. Just all phasers set to lethal constantly. Cover any holes, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you guys go back to your 
rooms, etc. Are you know that? Rooms? So I had a wound. No, you're not your ready did I, rooms. Did I receive medical treatment yes, for I'll, my wound? Yes, you, okay, you, awesome. are, you are happy Is and he healthy. Good too? Stress, zero. He's going to have to go through some psychological damage. I mean, uh, fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we will go there. So, Captain's Log, Stardate 47520.7 at the Cavian Stellar Circuit 831.11. The return of the neuroparasites has rattled Starfleet Command. While we are certain that the Romulan Star Empire has been compromised, we don't know yet the full extent. Whether the Federation has been infiltrated is unknown, but an air of suspicion has descended, even among the crew. They look at each other, wondering who among them may be working against us even now. Dun, 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 dun! We have left Starbase 117 with new orders. Kortar, the same Klingon armored space station that called away the, the Decius from the Alcubierre, has suddenly gone dark. Starfleet's intelligence has intercepted an ominous message sent by the station's commander. In it, the Klingon appeared mad, as if suffering from some form of delirium. With flames roaring in the background, he shouted, We are not ourselves, before venting the station's atmosphere into space. As we are the nearest ship, the Klingons have given us permission to investigate. I have a bad feeling about what may, what we may find there. We are not ourselves. Yes. Sounds like he gained, regained control just long enough to kill all the parasites. Or try to. He probably failed, which means the whole station's probably still infested with something horrifying. Oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah, perhaps. Probable, most likely, future. At the edge of Klingon space. Your ship arrives at the Klingon armored space station Kortar. On the border of unexplored space, Kortar is a neglected outpost of the Empire. In its heyday, at the height of Klingon expansion, it was an important station. Now it sits on in one of the outermost further regions, all but forgotten. Only those who have fallen out of favor with their superiors find themselves posted here. So, what you see before you is an abandoned station. It's not just abandoned. There is Klingons maybe inside, but for the most part, it is abandoned. Mm. <laughs> and yes, I'm using air quotes. <laughs> yeah. Air quotes. It looks derelict, but there's probably something horrifying in there. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, at this point, you guys can start using the ship sensors, uh, and you'll be, if you want the ship to basically help you in this, yeah. uh, you're going to be using reason and science tasks, and if you want the ship's assistance, you'll be using sensors and sciences. The difficulty is zero, so anything that you guys roll success size will generate you momentum. My reason in science is 15. Go yeah, for it. 14 as well. Okay. Oh, 14? Yeah. yeah, mine is 9. 15 is good. I don't practice reason or science. Is this considered so a task? Scan? Yes, this is a task. So then would my additional d20 be effective based on the previous tasks that I've done? No. Or is this a brand new? This is brand, brand new. new. Hmm, okay. So I'll do it. So I'll scan. Alright. Rolling two. What's the uh, your success? Dif your difficulty is zero. What? You did one how many successes you got. Okay. Yeah, let's just generate some focus. I mean some uh, momentum. Six and seven. Ooh, very good. Excellent. So you generate two momentum. Yay! And that's when that momentum to get clues. 
Uh, there are no life signs on the station. Not a good sign. <laughs> um, now, you said that I can spend momentum to get clues? Good information, yeah. May I? You may, yes. Should I spend it all or just one? Just one, I think. Both. Both? Yeah. We'll spend both. Okay. There is no other vessel uh, docked with the station and none within sensor range. An escape pod drifting in an asteroid field shows one faint life sign aboard. It appears to be Klingon, though armored with an exoskeleton. The pod has suffered some serious hull damage. Can we retrieve it? Uh, yes, you may. Do we have to roll for that? Uh, there's a whole scene for that. Oh uh, shit. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to just let it drift off in space or do you want to grab it? Let's probably pick him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will there's pick no him way up. This, there's no way this is going to end with our faces getting eaten by alien brain parasites. Yeah, please. I think we'll take a pass on that. <laughs> no, no, no. That's what I mean. We should do it. We oh, should okay. totally oh, do it. Oh. It's like, this seems absolutely perfectly safe. Okay, we're going to grab him. Are you sure? Yes. Tim? All right, cool. Uh, so. <laughs> it's just one Klingon. It's just What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> All right, so. Who. Calm officer. Howdy. Yes. You gotta give me uh, some rolls here. Sure. Am I piloting? What's going on? Well, if you want to get through this asteroid field, ah, oh, it's yes. either you or oh, some. This, uh, this is no. your time to shine. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So first things we're gonna do is uh, we are so entering the asteroid field. So if actually you just want to pick up these things here and just pass them to me, I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. As you see, there's a beautiful uh, field here. Of stars. Jeffrey's tubes and your heart and your soft covers. Thank you. It's an asteroid field, yeah? It is an asteroid field. Dip, dodge, duck, dip, and dive. <laughs> <laughs> so, we. If you could. Just scatter these out in a random... Sure. That works. And then we're going to take the USS Magellan, and which is here. millions of I'll kilometers call. between each one of those, because it's an asteroid field. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, okay. Real space doesn't... No, this is TV space. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, so I'm all like several meters have apart. To get in okay. there. Yeah. Now, Richard, please <laughs> get in here. Right there are all millions of kilometers away from each other. <laughs> oh, wow, cool. All right, so you are... Yeah, you're the helmsman. Totally please it. put the ship where you would like to start in the asteroid field. Well, where's our destination? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Okay. What the... How Pick about, the best spot, please. Uh, how about here? All right, cool. What are you drawing, man? Do we Jeez. have young audience here? <laughs> I'm drawing a giant flower. Yeah, it's a flower. Nice save. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so each of these. That looks like a puppy. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Oh, this is cool. Okay. So Where does looking flower? <laughs> Number five is the most dense. So each one of these is a zone. Okay. Uh, in these zones, uh, are not only it, does it represent where you're moving to, but it also represents what I'm looking at inside. Look, each of the red tokens is in fact an asteroid. Okay. okay. The asteroids have an attack value. I see. Okay. So... Where's the escape to, pod? In order to rescue the Klingon, you have two options. Mm -hmm. 
you can risk using the transporter beam or you can take the ship, fly it through the asteroids, and attempt to capture the escape pod uh, with the shuttle bay. Ah, uh, okay. Like tractor it in and then... Yes. Do we know where it is, though, in the, one of yeah. the zones? Yes. Or you can just, you know, tractor... It's in zone one. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. It's, it's an eight. Come on, eight. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take total credit for this idea because it's brilliant. I just thought of it, but we should use the tractor beam to slingshot it into the sun. <laughs> That's exactly what we should do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no way did I overhear him muttering that to himself five minutes ago. <laughs> um, what do you want to do? Um, I'd like to put the Yeah, well, first, where's, where's the, uh, the pod, the escape pod? Ah. Probably has Kadar. Infinite, and why can't we just yeah. blast these asteroids? Yeah, you know, is that with an like option? our phasers? And yeah, I mean, it is totally an option. Yes. However, oh, I see. Remember, when you break them apart, that's a lot of debris flying everywhere. Mm. Yeah, but the, it's smaller debris, right? It, it's less impact on our shields. Yeah, I don't does know. it better our odds of getting through? Not that mm. I don't have any confidence in my skills to pilot through this asteroid. How big are these yeah, asteroids yeah. compared to the ship? Uh, they're big. I see. Yeah. Got it. No, like breaking them into sizably smaller chunks, only to have them moving at much faster speed towards us, is probably a bad idea. So I know. We only make bad ideas here. <laughs> you should see the Tuesday group. Oh. <laughs> I like All right. It. So <laughs> I didn't draw enough circles. Apparently, uh, one, two, three, four. So the. You need to get back in here? Right. Yes. Uh, uh, the Romulan will represent the uh, asteroid field. There, wait, there's a ro Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the, the Romulan escape pod. Bird of prey. Okay. Yeah. It is in zone six. Okay. So you must navigate somehow into there to here. All right, sounds good. Do your typical thing in the maze. Go up, over the top, down. Let's track your beam. I actually start from the uh, end and work my way backwards. No, if you can climb over the top and the walls, it's fine. Yeah, that's Yeah. So we're gonna track your beam. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. So I'm gonna we're gonna pilot through it. All right. I need some rolls. All right, sweet. Okay. You say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand the implications of that word. All right. So the first roll we are going to make. The player at the helm must safely remove their space, their starship, one zone into the asteroid field. Oh yeah. This is a control and con task. Sounds good. The ship may assist you. Sweet. It is engines plus con. The ship's the difficulty of this is two. Okay. So, so I can, I'll roll for the uh, ship assist as well. Okay. <coughs> I'm wondering if I should uh, use my bold talent, con. So I can, uh, I can buy a dice by giving you threat, which allows me to re-roll a single die. Do I want to give uh, our storyteller threat? I don't mind. Why not? I'm clearly non-threatening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to declare this before I roll? Yes. That makes sense. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll give you threat to reroll. I already took the threat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> okay, so. This one. Okay, I think this looks good. So it, it's control and con? Uh, yes, For me. control and con. Right? Oh, uh, so it's a 15. Three so I got, I got two passes, and then yeah, and then the ship is also a pass as well. So three successes. Which uh, asteroid or which uh, zone, zone are you moving into? Okay, can I go into the zone? No, you cannot. So I'd have to either go here or here. Correct. Right? Well, I mean, can't I jump from eight to six? 
What that You're only moving sense? one zone at a time, so. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this seems like eight, a safer. Yeah. Okay, I'll go to eight. Cool. <coughs> you encounter a board cube. <laughs> Which is <laughs> over here. Yeah, <laughs> conveniently. A board triple. Hmm? No. And no. Did I gain any momentum no. from that? Uh, uh, yeah, one, right? so you gain one momentum. They just published them today. Right. There's one yeah. in that PDF. Yeah, or triple. Or triple. No. You are rolling again. Uh, if you want to move into another zone, we it's do. the same, same roll. Deal. Yep. Okay. Uh, the difficulty is now three. Oh, jeez. Do you want to buy a die? With um, your momentum? Let's see. Maybe someone should assist them. Are we allowed to do well, that? Well, the ship is. Can, we, can more people assist? Anybody uh, else want to have the, the ship can assist you. That's it. Right. Okay. That's it. The You're piloting. Hmm? The co pilot at the other con? That's the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they get <laughs> engines and con. Okay, I'll, I'll just I'll spend the momentum for an extra die. Alright. Which I'll say I, can, with the I can assist you because I just have to communicate. Sweet. So I'll roll so you your die? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this. Okay, it looks good. You got a 14. Yeah, I need a. I, I got one fail, but there was one, two, three successes. Sorry, so what is what the number is the fail? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. An asteroid hits the hull of the ship. Our shields are not. Okay. Our shields are not. You didn't tell me that they were up. Oh my god. And to be fair, a shield is not going to do diddly to an asteroid that. Yeah, mm. nah. masses ten times the of the ship. All right, if you say so. I see. Oh wait, I don't even have to roll for this. But this is even better. Before he does anything like that, would you like to re-roll the one dice that oh, I, yeah. I would love to? Yeah, we're gonna re-roll. All the right. Failure. Okay. But eleven. Very good. Yep. I had to roll. The asteroid snarily squeaks by you. <laughs> <Yes>. Wow, man. <laughs> it, that was a close the one. The asteroid fumbled Oof. its attack roll. See, propulsion is a science. Navigation. A uh, science of rerolling your dice. Navigation is an art. Just. <laughs> All right. What next? Well, I'm so uh, glad we didn't hit that asteroid. One of our consoles might have exploded and killed us. <laughs> so you, you're. We'd have uh, all gone like this. Yeah. And the camera would have had to shake a whole bunch, and then you know that would have been shaking the one of these, right? <laughs> huh? I ain't shaking the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, what you hear is a faint distress beacon. From where? In this zone. Okay. In this sector. Can we triangulate its position? Yeah, can we scan? Uh, you need a... Uh, where is it? You need a... Daring and con task. Can now, the ship is it assist? The ship assists with, uh... Engines on and con. Or sorry, not engines. Um, where's the ship? With sorry, sensors and con. Okay, so it's the sensors. No? Yeah, this is sensors. Yeah. yeah. All right. In space, no one can hear you stream. Does anybody else want to attempt? I got a 14 on it. Uh, sensors and con? No, uh, oh. it's, uh, did you say <laughs> daring and con? I think is it's it, daring is and con. Is it daring and con or control and con? Uh, it is daring and con. I have, no, it's only 24 hours. I have 12. Okay. Oh my god. What do you Triples are populate. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, maybe. Triple. Okay, so the yellow will represent the ship assisting. Works. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, wow. Just, uh, okay, one fail, so... The ship was a success and one success on my part. And what is the number on the fail? Eighteen. Eighteen? Did you remember to raise shields? No. <laughs> no. Alright. Can is I raise shields a, now? Someone else raised the shield. 
We need to start coordinating these things better. <laughs> you know, security officer. Oi! <laughs> Oh man. The All ship right. takes eight stress. Did we collide with another, uh, with a... Yeah, we collided with an asteroid. Okay. Um, is that our shields? No. Oh, Power. sorry. As resistance seven, it takes one. It takes okay. one? Okay. Yeah. It takes one to the hull. Okay. okay. Great, is, some um, jackass <laughs> on deck 13 just got blown out into space. <laughs> uh, that is... Probably some android thing. Yeah. No, Mr. Data! One, 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 one there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Captain, I suggest we raise shields. Do you Onyx. think so? <laughs> <laughs> raise the shields. Okay, so do I have to roll to... Uh... No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shields have been raised. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Do, 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 there. Do, 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 do. Hey, is there any way we can... Uh, no, there... I was thinking of just using a tractor beam on one of these asteroids and have it like, you know... To slingshot yourself off? Or, or even just have, it in, the have it in front. Just have it in front to kind of like... No, but I guess tractor beams, you're pulling things, right? Yeah. You but can't like guide it in front of you, like eh? A lot more than the ship does. Anyway, we can launch like, um, like a probe in front of us to scan and... You know, uh, triangulate these what you should asteroids be is ahead of time. Anyway, to launch one of the asteroids, another asteroid to knock other asteroids out of the way and have a clear flight. That's what I was thinking with a with a tractor beam, or we can just like launch a, a game pool. of int no? a galactic pool. <laughs> right, technically. If there's one thing I learned would... last night, it's that I am really bad at pool. Or anyways, either way. <laughs> well, you were playing pool last night. Yeah. Okay. So we got oh, a yeah. distress signal. Mm -hmm. There's we we an triangulated empty the. Uh, yeah, you've tried. It's in this sector. It is located past the third asteroid. Okay. So more um, mm -hmm. navigation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the difficulty? The difficulty still is three? still two. Still, oh, sorry. Two? The difficulty is two in here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pilot the ship. Okay. I got, we got two successes, I'm supposed to roll 14 or higher, so two successes and one fail. 15 on the fail. Okay. Uh, Wait, isn't that considered two successes? Did you get a one? I got a one, yeah. So oh, it got is. three successes. Sweet. Yeah. Generate one momentum? Yep. Yeah. Good uh, point. An idea. asteroid graces your path, your hull and does no damage. Sweet. Ha uh ha. -huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love our ship. Hey, asteroid, you suck! Yeah. <laughs> Better luck next time. How many more of these do you have to do to get to? Uh, you need to do two more. Okay. So you've now passed that asteroid there and are approaching the following one. Can I get any more rerolls? Sure. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I can assist you on every roll. Awesome, awesome. Okay. I just can't, I can only do Okay, one. so a 16 is a fail, but these are successes. Reroll, can I get that reroll? But don't we only need two to pass? Yeah, you only need two to pass. Oh, okay. You can build up on momentum. Yeah, momentum. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Okay. Come on. Yes, a 12. It's right. under 14. So you generate uh, one momentum. One momentum. And well, you yeah. pass passed that. And the, the, the signal gets higher or louder to your ship sensors. Um, you can we read the signal? You can read the signal. It is a Cleon distress signal. Got it. Is it coming from the pod? It is coming yeah, from the pod. Yes. So there's they're alive in there. I really expected us to get there and find out the signal basically says do not approach, do not approach, <laughs> do not approach, do not approach. <laughs> and we just kept going. Does it say that? <laughs> Does it say that? Is it a warning beacon? <laughs> Did we actually uh, make a point of decoding the signal? Can we? It's distressing. It's, it's distressing. It's yeah. the same no matter where you, what civilization, someone needs help. Oh All great, right. it's mauve. No, nothing is ever mauve. Just mauve is mauve. Yeah. Alright, so, um... Do you want to attempt to beam the pod into the shuttle bay, or... 
Do you want to tractor, tractor it, in? it in? Let's just beam it. Now that we're we closer. Wait, are, uh, is it within visual range? Yeah, it's it's, it's like so right in front of us yeah. now. So what does it look like? It looks like an escape pod. So a small okay. tube. Oh, actually, wait. I have the perfect thing. Excuse me for one quick <coughs> second. Let me just okay. grab it. Are we gonna regret this decision? Uh, there is a ninety-five point seven eight percent chance that we will end up regretting this. Wait, did you say point seven eight? Eight seven. Eight seven. Never told okay, me the I think it's okay. <laughs> there you go. There's your little escape pod. Got it. Is that it's just a lot bigger? It's than a ship. wooden dowel. Yes. Yes, I was it, gonna say this is huge. It's huge. Whatever. Haha! <laughs> Cookies on dowels. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the. Do we want to re scan it again? No. Do you think that will make any difference? Yes. If you would like to scan yeah. it again, yeah. uh, it is daring plus medicine task. Scan it for parcel. I got a... Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to take a moment to scan. I got a 12, so... All right. I, have take, uh, I have an 11. I'll take on this. Consider me paranoid. <laughs> Wait, okay, so one of them is the ship assisting? Uh, Yeah, do you want to help me with this? Sure. Okay. So one of these is gonna be. And I'll also awesome. assist as well. Okay. Let's see here. What's the uh, six uh, difficulty? Reroll these two. Uh, difficulty is a one. Oh. oh okay. Uh, I four I successes. I got an eight here. So. Five successes. All right. So we get four momentum. Yep. Yay. Yes, you do. Quattro momentum. How many? Four. four. Oh, sweet. So then we're. We're yeah. stacked. Yep. Mm -hmm. You could spend that momentum for information. Huh? That's true. Yeah. What kind of information do we need? Clues. Are there parasites aboard the ship? How many are we We're using? We're not ourselves! Can I just one? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, can we get a clue with the momentum? Okay, we'll yeah, it. like what kind of life forms do we find on this thing, if any? Well, there's a Klingon. You find a Klingon. Is, life you mentioned form. that. Is yeah, there a parasite? Any scans of like, anything unusual about this Klingon? Is he sick, infected? Uh, life signs are minimal. Oh, so he's like barely he's, alive. Yeah. yeah, he's barely alive. Hey, if we're transporting this thing onto the ship, when when the Klingon's pattern buff uh, signatures are in the pattern buffer, can we scan it there as well, just to double check to make sure we're not beaming anything like a yes, Klingon yes, plus yes, parasite? Yes, you know what I mean? Just as a production. Make sure it's 100% Klingon. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So you're going to so you're going to need a. Um, daring and medicine roll. Not some strange clean on human. Thinking. I have eleven. And if we roll a twenty, have, we lose the pattern. I have buffer. fourteen. <laughs> well, you should probably roll it gets that. lost in the pattern yeah. buffers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's, let's do this scan. And I will spend a momentum for an what's extra the, die. Roll, roll three dice. Get three uh, the difficulty is three. Okay, the All difficulty right. is three. I'll assist. Okay, so, since I. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna reroll those. 20, 20. <laughs> 16, 18, and 20. That's much better. So one, two, Sweet. three, four, five. This is a fail. Yeah, okay, it was a so 19. five okay. successes. What's your reroll from? Oh, I thought you were helping me. No. Oh, never mind. No, I only allow you to reroll one die. Never mind. Okay, so that's a lot of failures then. <laughs> 16, How many? 18, 20? Wait, 16, but we 18, have all this momentum. Can we just? Yeah, can we use it? No. To nope. reroll? Nope. No. Uh... Do you have a determination? Uh, no, yeah, because I haven't used mine yet. You haven't. You can use a determination to reroll the dice pool. Okay, sure. Let's do it like that then. 14 and 20 this time, but that's another two successes. Can so I reroll that's... my assist then as well with your determination? Can yes, you? you can roll two assists. Sweet. Yeah. Fine. Okay, 15. So what's your, what your security, right? Though. Yeah, so uh, I've got. Four, five successes, and one twenty. Complication? Eh. I won't do See, I'm telling you, there was a parasite. Why else would, would <laughs> why else was it so difficult? <laughs> An energy dampening field is preventing you from uh, locking well gathering more information about uh, what is happening? Okay. An so we just energy have, oh, field. An energy field. 
So we basically just have to do a standard transport then. We can't find out any, anything else. It's basically what correct. You're okay. But we were able to beam Man, these, the ship. This information block and is the getting on, no really problem. annoying. <laughs> really, uh, really annoying. And I'd like to request, I guess we'll just beam the Klingon straight to the med bay, right? Yep. Yeah, and the pod into the... We probably want a security bay. team in sick bay. Yeah. With uh, all phasers aimed at the emergence point for the transporter. Very good idea, chief of security. Yeah. This is why you got yeah. the job. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh wait, did we generate any momentum from those rules? The difficulty is four to je to transport the two things. Uh, oh, we so may just have to tractor them in and that. Yeah, the and then okay, all right. Yeah, okay. It's, it's getting two. difficulty is three to tractor it in. Do we want to spend we any momentum? momentum? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's just do. It. At least one. All right. Do you want to do it or should I? Oh, sorry. What was what it? Are uh, what to are the stats? To tractor this guy. Tractor the. Uh, you need. Okay, you need control and security. Okay, that's and twelve the for me. Ship I'm a needs Structure and security. The ship is. This is a twelve. No, it's not to uh, oh. transport. It's to tractor beam them in. This is to tractor beam. Oh, so com so it's security and. Se so control and security for. Uh, you yep. and the ship rules structure and security. This okay. is, the ship is 12. Okay, I'll roll for the ship. Okay, so mine is 12 as well. So. Mm -hmm. And difficulty is 3. Alright, so I'm gonna Gosh, burn out we, Yeah, yeah, let's. Back. Okay, so we're rolling. So yeah. then, can I, uh, for the ship to get an extra die, is it also 1? Uh, the. Yes. I think Sound we should good? do that just in case. There you go. Okay. I'm okay. Ugh. I'll what was it again? Twelve. Three. Oh, I got uh, four successes. What did you roll? The ship got three failures. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that still a pass? Four, and you got four successes. Is it? Yes. Okay, you pass. Oh, sweet. Uh, so, uh, you were able to tractor beam uh, the pod into the shuttle bay. A medical crew is on site and they're ready to pop the hull. However, there's an energy shield still preventing anyone from going near it. Interesting. So it's emitting, it's coming from the pod, right? Correct. I guess that. Uh, if. Mostly space dowel. <laughs> yes, space dowel. Huh. Uh. What about power systems? I have that as a focus. Can I focus to see what would require to take the energy field down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to somehow cut through it, right? Yeah. Yeah, also we probably want a security team down in the shuttle bay as well. Yes. So we wait for that, obviously first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're, they so just we're all ready, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're all set. All okay. right. So then, <clears throat> uh, to take down this energy field, what do we need to roll? You need to make a roll. What do you think you need to do? Um, well, engineering or science would be a plus for me. Mm -hmm. um, reason, but... Well, reason is, reason is most likely because you're using, obviously, the computers to assist you. Yeah. So, reason or reason engineering, reason science. I'm picking... Oh, well, I, I'm going to choose reason and engineering. Yeah. Okay, make your roll. Okay. Um, what do I need to succeed? Uh, for a scan of this nature, yes. you need a you need three successes. I'll, Should I? I'll assist, I guess. Okay, what's yours? Um, Thirteen. Thirteen. Should I spend a momentum for a die? Sure. Go wait, for wait, it. wait. Oh, um, okay, wait, wait. So I uh, I have a thing that says when you attempt a task using engineering or science, you may roll at one additional d twenty so long as you've completed a previous task. Yes. And I have. Alright, you get one additional dice. 
Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I, I, got I have two successions and a failure. Yeah, and I got you one succeed. success. So three successes? Three successes yes. and a 20. And oh. a 20! Shut up. It's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and we know you like to roll 20s. So. I only roll crits. Yeah, if this were D&D, well, man, fire. we would just well, be going to town. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. So you've figured out that uh, the energy is actually holding a strained hull together. Um, while you were scanning it, you realize that if you don't open this thing soon, he's dead. Oh shit, okay. Do we want to just blast through it? Can we, I don't yeah, know. is that like an I, option? <laughs> I mean, you're the one determining the nature point? of the field. Can we blast through it? Uh, it is ill-advised to blast through it. Um, so we should probably just <clears throat> disable it. Yes. Okay, now how do we do that? Well, what dis what disables energy? Electromagnetism. Hmm. Ooh, yes, it does. An, EM an EMP? Cause it can we do that in a controlled environment? Oh, no. A very we... large copper wire. And just ground it. <laughs> okay, so... Yes, and and you can. F this is the twenty fourth century. Of course, you can have a controlled EMP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that the and thing that, that we security officers get? Like, is that just no? Control? It's something you have to do. Is that like control in science, maybe? Uh, definitely control in science. Yeah. Okay. Chief Sweet. engineer, we need you to do a controlled EMP burst. Um. Okay. I, I'm rolling anything under a twelve. Are you raising a force field in the ship's shuttle bay? Yes. Around sure. the control DMP before you wipe out the entirety of the ship? Yes. Sure. No, I'll just go straight ahead. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difficulty on it? The difficulty is four. Oh my goodness. Okay. Clear the bay. So I got a 15. Um, Put the force field up above around it and then we will do the control DMP. But I think from I need outside. some help. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Should I assist? And then I'll buy I feel like the guy. engineer should be the one just setting up the blast here. Well, mine's a 12. So I got a 15. Kind of... Yeah, but you get an extra d20 because you completed earlier. Tasks. Yes! Ooh. Science and control, yeah, I do get an extra d20. So then maybe I don't have to buy. Then you should spend one momentum for another die. And then if you want you to. You all would have never suggested that to me if he okay, was here tonight. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I think that sounds good. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, we got uh, one, so that's two, three, but then everything else is 17, 17, 16. And you get it, did you get a reroll? You, you got, got a 17? Reroll? Yeah. Okay. Do you get a reroll? Wasn't there something like you get a reroll? Oh no, it was an extra die. Mm. Yeah. Was that it? Uh, I don't think it says that I get to reroll. I mean, I could try assisting as well. Was it uh, control and engineering? Uh, control and science. Oh, control and science. Okay, so that's nine for me. Let's see if this works. <laughs> well, you can use control or engineering. Can the ship assist yeah. us? Yes. Oh. Wait. Do we I have failed. to declare that? Oh. <laughs> Do we can like do we have to declare that before the rolls made or oh uh, damn it you're locked at three successes and we needed a four mm -hmm. is there any option of us rerolling the dice is there any option do you have do you have momentum we do, do you have we have one I think is what we also have determination yeah. I, I no have longer mine. have determination well no you can spend uh. You can spend uh, momentum uh -huh. to create advantages, opportunities, create problems, or obtain information. Yeah, but not reroll that. But Do not we want to create opportunity?
What are your focuses? Astrophysics, power systems, warp drive, damage reporting procedures. Power systems, huh? And how many successes did you get? Three, so Three. that goes up to six. It goes up to six. So I pass. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we I'm have momentum. Right? Yeah, we get two momentum out of that. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so wait, hold up. Whenever you succeed at a task where you bought one or more additional dice with either momentum or threat, you roll one um, of these, I think. Yep. Yeah. You receive bonus momentum equal to the total on the dice or add one to threat if an effect is rolled. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so I'm going to roll this. Okay, we so get get more momentum. <laughs> Call me cheap Man, daddy. it's a good thing I was just looking okay, at that rule summary over there. <laughs> okay, cool. Sweet. Thank God. All right. So, uh, you you raise the shields around it, and you a pulse goes off. The force field drop, as well as the energy drop. As you do the shut, the, the pod just kind of crumbles, and revealing a Klingon laying on his back with an oxygen mask. I see. The Klingon is unconscious and his cranial plates that are usually thick and his body is developing an exoskeleton. What's that? Okay. <laughs> From is the waist down. He is horribly mutated with a gruesome injury on the back of his neck. Ew. Definitely he dies almost immediately after you rescue him. Oh, so we had a wasted effort. No, because now we have a body now, that we can analyze. Oh, true. Exactly. Now you can conduct an autopsy. Okay. Uh, you can. You'll. T you have to take him to the medical bay. <laughs> we can conduct an autopsy. That sounds like a job for the chief medical. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Still hiring. <laughs> so, uh, in if you want to take him to sick bay and do the autopsy uh you get the advantage of you know the ship can help you there yeah uh as well as any medical personnel that you'll need fair and thankfully you have dr piper Ooh, dr yes. piper dr piper Welcome aboard. He's a Vulcan. Logically. Even though he took a human name. <laughs> I was going to say, there's, uh, there's a bit of a... Kind of I'll like, explain why this Vulcan? character was created later on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this is just in case uh, our chief medical officer was going to somehow mysteriously die during our first session? No. Okay. So... He must roll a reason and medical. So I will be rolling 14 or under. Okay. This is going to be uh, something leave to one of you guys. If Y'all anybody have... wants to assist, yeah. uh, they can. Reason and medicine. Uh, I'm, a, I'm rolling a 14 as well. I got a 12. Yeah, you guys will probably want to do it. So. Uh, Joseph, if you want to roll the ships, sure. Uh, sensors and medicine. Twelve. Okay. One success for the ship. Uh, one success, one failure. So that's still two successes. However, I badly mutilate the body while doing this autopsy. Oh my god. <laughs> um, well, slow down there, Hannibal. <laughs> so, here's what happens. Who's Who wants to be in the autopsy room? I should have asked that first. I guess I will be. I mean, hey, everyone. I, was, uh, I am every, there. Everyone wants to be in there. I am there with a heavily armed security team, just in case the Klingon zombie because. army rises up. <laughs> um, I don't want to be there. Okay. I have a sensitive stomach. All right. So, uh, for the people that are in there, this is the information you find out. Uh, his mutation appears to be self-inflicted, as 
it's as if he died cutting a parasite out of himself. The Klingon was in a de-evolutionary state, uh, reverting into a more primitive form of species. Players, you may now spend momentum to, if you want to attain any additional medical information. Let's do it. We yeah. have all this. How many? Well, so does each momentum represent a clue that you'll give to us? or? Yes. Okay. How many clues do we want to spend? Can Two? we spend one? You can spend one. And then... And decide uh, if we want another clue yeah, after? Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. So just one for now. A key sequence of nucleotides in the alien DNA matches Starfleet Medical's database on the neural parasite. Well, that's no surprise. You just hear in the distance, Oh, come on! We already knew that! <laughs> Let's spend another. Yep. Something more efficient this time? The alien DNA was artificially introduced into the Klingon genome. Wow. Artificially, huh? By the parasite? Mm. Do we need to know more? We should sure. probably yeah, yeah. continue Kay. probing for information. The neural parasite's DNA was rewriting the Klingon genome. Interesting. Okay. Is it worth asking if it's of a similar parasite that invaded his... It's the same one. It's the yeah. same okay. one. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to go one more? Yeah. All okay. or nothing. will be okay. Last. Yeah. We're going to spend another momentum. Last one? This Klingon really likes to party. <laughs> <laughs> the DNA that has been rewritten into the Klingon shows uh, a very primitive form of life that could be comparable to an oversized dog. Huh. What kind of dog are we talking here? <laughs> Shiba Inu. And Doge, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just meme DNA being injected. All <laughs> yes. His DNA sequence now looks like Doge. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the momentum we can find. Much parasite, very it. terrifying. Uh, so we can move on to the next scene. Which means we lose all our momentum. Which means you would lose all your momentum. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. But we're actually done uh, for this evening. So we're just going to do a quick wrap up here. Okay. So the purpose of these the videos here uh, on Monday night is to teach players brand new games other than like D&D &D, and to showcase great games all around. Uh, we invited all of you to come out and play these games with us. So, just general question. Either the chat can even enjoy it, uh, join us here. What did you like about the game and what didn't you like about the game? Well, it was very easy and straightforward to pick up. Okay. That's good. Like, I was able yeah. to just, like, jump right into it. And... Yeah. Uh, your experience with uh, the Infinity game helped as well. That's true. Um, so, what do you think of the 2D20 system? And like buying and... Yeah, like, buy like, extra like, and like buying and everything. Like, the, the system in general, what is your general opinions on it? Love it? Hate it? It's So, it's different. It's different from, you know, uh, other games that like I've played personally. But at, at the same time, it's it's kind of similar as well because you know um, it's different because you're rolling, you're trying to roll under, mm -hmm. and then you have your stats and you're combining like you know two different sets, mm -hmm. uh, something in your attributes and something in your discipline to create a target number, and then rolling under that like it's just it's interesting, mm -hmm. but it's also familiar too, so it's it's easy to pick up, it's easy to yeah, 
And I like it. Nice. It's a new. Uh, Emily? You were familiar. Um, I really liked the talents, the bonuses for our characters. Mm -hmm. uh, once I really understood what my player did, I was able to analyze the situation and knew where my strengths were and my weaknesses. Okay. Uh, Alex? Mm -hmm. About the system? Yep. Um, what was your favorite part? I think it's probably his commands. <laughs> well, no, no, about that was the system cool. itself, I don't know, because, like, obviously I've run the system before and it just confuses me because it's, there's enough differences between Infinity and this. Yes. Uh, so, even though the, um, the 2D20 system is one of Modifius's best systems, in fact, it's, like, primarily their new system now, uh, there is enough differences on how the games function where, you know, there's things you can do in this game that you cannot do in Infinity and stuff you cannot do in Conan, etc., etc. Uh, for example, uh, taxation. Uh, in, in, Star in this game, you can tax players based on moving into new scenes, doing certain actions, finding out more information, and other ways. It's like, you know, if you guys didn't have any momentum but you needed to find out stuff, you'd be, like, giving me threat. Yeah, you can do that Infinity as well, though. Yeah, but that's just yeah. one primary example. Um, again, there's a lot of different... There's a lot of great differences in that. And tomorrow, we're doing... Uh, I think... War, I believe it's Warhammer Fantasy on stream. Yeah. Uh, so that starts at 7 o'clock, I believe. Uh, Alex will be running it, and I will be the producing that as well as playing. Um, I just found out I'm the only character that has body armor. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. <laughs> oh, and I'm four foot eleven. Nice. And Which are is, you a dwarf? Pardon? No, he's I am, human? I am a human. I am okay. four foot eleven. Four foot. Yeah. Uh, also, next week, uh, Alex, what game, are, what game are you running? I am running Werewolf the Apocalypse. So tune in, is, uh, is. Tune in next week same time for Werewolf the Apocalypse. That one. That is a classic game from when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, is that the first or second edition? Second. The second edition. Didn't they have a card game as well called Rage? They do. And you, you flip them over? Yeah. yeah. My brother and I used to play that game. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, we are going to be... Alex is going to be running that next week. Uh, so we will have a... I don't know. I have no idea. It's been a long time since I've played Werewolf. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Uh, I will be producing that as well. And I will be, like, pointing at Alex and just be like... What? I don't sure. Know. I'll just be pointing <laughs> fingers. <laughs> All right. You know, I really like the uh, momentum part of this game. Wasn't that cool? Every time we gain a success, exactly. you know what I mean? It would propel us. It was mm -hmm. rewarding. So I have, yeah. to mention, I have to mention that. I really like that aspect. Yeah, and uh, threat works the same way f for me as it does for players, and with the exception, yeah. I have a little bit more options on what I can do threat-wise, but I also can't make actions if I don't have threat. Did you run out of threat? Yeah, I did run out of threat. Ah. That's, that's, why there, that's, that's why there was a couple of locations where like, I took the threat, and Mike gave me this look, and I was like, I, ha I literally have none. <laughs> <laughs> I, I blew it all to send asteroids at you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so that is this this adventure that we're running comes out of the starter set. So this uh, the little cardboard tokens, everything like that, These, all the uh, characters, sheets. the reference sheets, they're all from uh, Star Trek Adventure starter set. So if you want to uh, buy that or pick it up because you like how like the game. Uh, you can find it on our online store at harryt.com or come visit in the store. And we will see you all next week. Well, may I will. I don't know about you No, guys. guaranteed. No, you're not, you're not doing Werewolf? Oh, uh, is it Monday? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Monday. Yeah, I'll always come. <laughs> all right. Okay. You're like, no, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. You, I think you meant, I think you were referring to, I think. Tuesdays. Tuesdays, yes. Oh. Yes, Tuesdays, because I know you're not playing Warhammer. Yeah. All right. So... Uh, I'm coming, we, I'll be here. Uh, for those of you that are joining us following Monday for Werewolf the Apocalypse, 
Now I have to go and read the rules. No, you don't. No? No. Why? Because why do you need to read the rules? Because I like to know what I'm getting into. <laughs> It'll be on the sheets. Fair enough. All right, so I uh, that's it. We'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, and fun. Uh, no fun. And no Yaval fun. and Jeremy. We'll see you soon. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> no, live long and prosper. Live long and live long and prosper. I won't do games. What's the opposite? Huh? Die <laughs> and uh, <laughs> die mad about it. I don't know. <laughs> die mad about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Have a good night.